Hi guys, Dan's Dollars here. A very good evening to you all. The good news is we are back with Coin Hunts on the channel. I am feeling a little bit better. We are just going to stick to £50 in 50p Coin Hunts at the moment until I am back to full fitness because I am starting to lose my breath probably after four or five minutes of recording. So just for now, we'll stick to the £50 ones. We need 12 commemoratives to finish this book off. There's 60 in here already. 72 is that magic number. Let's get busy with it, let's get coin hunting, and let's see if we can get another coin into this book today. The first coin is definitely a bit of a dirty one, and it does look like the theme continued there with the few coins in that first bag. You never know though, these ones could have been kept away, kept away in the back of the vault, and you never know where Q Gardens could be in here. The Q Gardens isn't in here yet, but we have hit the 1998 EU Stars 50p. Again, the quality of the coin was not fantastic, but we're definitely not complaining. A coin that's 24 years young now definitely does make me feel old, saying that it's only from 1998. But that coin, along with the 1998 NHS 50p coin, if you find any of those, you have been super lucky. It does look like we've uncovered our second commemorative coin of this coin hunt so far. If we'd stumbled across the coin this way around, Probably would have been a bit excited as it is exactly the same as the Q Gardens. But it is a really nice quality Commonwealth Games Glasgow. One that will be going in the Young Coin Collectors giveaway coming up on the 28th. The third coin for 2013. Another dirty find. It's the Christopher Ironside 50p coin. And that three has suddenly turned to four as we have got ourselves the Benjamin Bunny. This coin again part of that Beatrix Potter 50p coin set. I can't believe how many of those we keep stumbling across, but I don't mind. I'll be signing the backs of them and getting them out into circulation. What a bag this has been. We've got another Benjamin Bunny at the end. Make sure it's not another one of my signed Dan's Dollars ones. But we also stumbled across the 2019 Paddington outside St. Paul's Cathedral as well. Six commemorative coins from only two bags. Can this run continue? Can we make it ten? from five bags it's been a while since that has happened usually two to three commemorative coin finds per 50 pounds only now so again we have at least doubled the higher end of that average already as always at the end of the video i will check through every single 50p see if there's any maybe printing errors on the coin and i'll also be checking for the 2008 britannia and the 2017 royal shield both of those are actually the rarest versions of those coins that were meant for circulation. Unfortunately, they're not the most valuable coins in the world. £1.50 to £1.75 for circulated versions. But again, you are still tripling the coin's face value if you are lucky enough to find them. Again, they are the 2017 Royal Shield 50p and also the 2018 Britannia. Looks like we've stumbled across two Beatrix Potters. The first one, the Full Face Half Whisker. That's the 2016 Peter Rabbit. And also the 2017, the Tale of Peter Rabbit as well. I'm so happy to be back doing these coin hunts again. I am going to try my best to get more up as soon as possible. Again, I am feeling a little bit better, but definitely not back to my full health yet, unfortunately. So we've found eight commemorative coins Definitely got to be happy with that. We've got ourselves the two Peter Rabbits at the bottom, bottom right, the Peter Rabbit from 2016, and in the middle at the bottom there, the tail of Peter Rabbit. Above that, we've got another Beatrix Potter coin, the Benjamin Bunny, on the middle left, and in the middle, we have got the EU Stars 1998 50 pence coin. In the right, on the middle there, we have got the Christopher Ironside, top right, another Benjamin Bunny. The top row in the middle is the Commonwealth Games Glasgow, and on the left, we have got ourselves the Paddington outside St. Paul's Cathedral. For me, the star find has got to be the 1998 EU 50p coin, but please do comment below your star find of this coin hunt. Again, I will try and get another one of these up this evening, but if not, I'll definitely get another coin hunt up again tomorrow. Again, I hope you're all well at home. Stay safe, and as always, guys, thanks for watching.